if we have any mutuals who still like Destiny, that's totally, totally cool. But I would really encourage you to, like, look at him the way that I do now. Or, or I don't know. Like, <laughs> pay Jesus attention Christ. to some of the trends that I've pointed out. The reflexive anger and hatred towards lefties. The obsession with contrarianism. The backpedaling and the lying, but then condemning other people for backpedaling and lying and banning people who call him out in his behavior when he does it. Because he does it a lot. True. And if there are any other content creators who know both of us, it's only a matter of time before he does to you what he did to like me and a bunch of other people. In some ways I say that like my goal is to like improve the discourse, but I guess that must not be entirely true because I do find myself getting upset when I do improve the discourse sometimes. So for instance, like it, it, do, it irritates me that like Vosh really does copy paste like so many of my arguments, but I, I should be happy for that, right? It's oh, well at least somebody's he's making better arguments now even if he copied them from me. But I, but I don't feel, maybe it's because I, maybe it's, actually I guess maybe it's not, I'm not upset that he copies them. It's, I'm upset that he copies them and then people pretend they came from him and then they pretend that I have like these horrible fascist takes. I guess it's probably what irritates me the most if I'm being more charitable to myself. Did you see Vosh copy your mental health graph take slash video? Wait, really? Can you show me? I don't know if like women uniquely deal with mental illness, but I, I noticed that. That's like one of the most referenced videos when like a, if a girl messages me, she's like, oh, I've heard of you. I saw your mental illness. I was like, oh, okay. That means you're crazy. <laughs> that means we're already off to a good start. I'm just, I'm sorry. Take advantage of this time to the, to the extent. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, this is like shameless. <laughs> that you can, you know? And know that it's not permanent. I Wait, what today. the fuck? I may not tomorrow, but I enjoyed today. So do things today <laughs> that you'll remember when you're next feeling here. And the nice thing about humans is that our brains are like an engine, okay? Momentum, inertia. When you move in a direction, you keep moving there, okay? I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Look at these curves. We got a good, nice S shape. Except for this weird thing. I don't know. Remember, functions are never supposed to cross or have simultaneous Y values, right? Oh, and I've labeled my axes and everything. I just didn't increment them. What do you want Vosh to do? Should he acknowledge that he got these takes from you? My issue is just that so many of these people hate me. Like, are like brag about, like, do you, do you not understand like my frustration when you have a guy that copies like 95% of what I say and then his girlfriend like tries to get me like destroyed on the internet? Like, do you understand the frustration there? Or roommate or whatever the fuck X, I don't know. For his, whose entire community hates me. I think that's just my issue. Like, if we were, like, fr like, if I saw fucking Lycan or whatever, was, like, copying shit, I said, like, oh, okay, whatever, that's cool. Because, like, we're chill. But if it's some guy whose, like, entire community, like, wants to see me, like, destroyed or eradicated, then it's, like, okay. ...to avoid the unfortunate reality that is potentially trapping people for fear of being awkward, you give them outs. So here's an example. Uh, I'm at a party, okay? And I'm talking with a person. I don't know anyone at this party except for the host. I'm talking with a person, and they seem interested in speaking with me, okay? If you are, let's say that you're coming towards the end of a date. Let's say that you're making a suggestion that you guys should do something or whatever, right? Um, if you are making a sexual suggestion towards somebody, something that's polite is to offer somebody a way out in the same advance so that they have the option to turn it down without feeling like they have to go through like a really uncomfortable or pressured event of doing it. If I go to you and I say, listen to me, okay? <clears throat> in the other room, I heard mom tell dad that you are not the actual child. I heard them say that you are somebody else's kid. And then the, the, the two siblings are right? And the siblings are like, holy shit, really? And then let's say that they start asking, like, okay, holy fuck, wait, 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 oh my God, oh my God. What exactly did you hear mom and dad say? And then the guy's like, okay, okay. So I was in the back room and I heard mom say, <clears throat> John, someone else's. I think John is someone else's or something. I heard that. It's like, wait a second, okay. Did, did, did they say, like, John is somebody else's kid? It's like, well, I didn't hear that part. But I heard John and someone else's, like, really clearly. It's like, well, okay. Could they have said something totally different? Yeah, I guess they could have. I don't actually, I didn't hear, like, the really big incriminating. I didn't actually hear that. They could have said something different. Yeah, I guess, yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Now we're on totally different levels of what did you actually hear and what, did, what actually happened. So what, it's not even hearsay. It's like, it's like, if, it's like if you're listening to, like, like your two parents talk in the other room and you hear, like, the words, I don't know, not my favorite oldest son, and you're the youngest son, and you assume that means <laughs> they like the older son more, and then you leave the house, like, you go out on a journey to, to leave your parents. Like, it's not even enough to be wrong. Destiny a couple days later, Vosh made this observation. Or Destiny made this observation, then Vosh did shortly after made a short job. Wait, what? Hold on. I wonder what would have happened if Warnock would have taken the Chris Christie route here and it like made fun of her for repeating the same answer over and over again. I feel like when Chris Christie did that, I don't know if that was like a sinking moment for um, Rubio, 
But I, I feel like it was a really, really bad. I feel like that played over really bad. Deepak said the same thing. Yeah, like when Chris Wait, Christie does, pointed does, out does the Rubio shit, and then Stephen Rubio did it again. Oh, no. It was so oh, bad for Rubio. He literally looked like the Terminator. Um, First of all, that he directly answered, and second of all, that she sounds like a fucking robot. Okay. What was- who was the guy- was it Marco Rubio who kept- who sounded like a robot back in the 2016 presidential primaries for the, uh, for the- for the GOP? Where he kept over and over again, he would be like, And let us dispel the idea that it is a fiction that Barack Obama does not know what he's doing, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and then he got called out. <laughs> December 7th, December 10th- oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, interesting. Maybe it was just a- Maybe these are all coincidences. I think the most obvious thing is that literally all of these people from Vosh to Xanderhal say they have the exact same meta-ethical and ethical positions you do. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm kind of like a social contract theory. Uh, consequentialist. <laughs> I'm like, that's so interesting. Can you tell me how you get there? Well, I, you know, I basically, I, uh, I just imagine if everybody treated everybody the same way that I want to be treated, and I kind of make my, oh, it's so fascinating, crazy how we have, uh, we're so similar. The only reason Destiny had the takes he did on the Israel-Palestine thing is because he- they're not the position the left has said. It's the- it's the only thing, okay? Like... Like, the whole world agrees that Israel is in the wrong for what they're doing to Palestine, and then Destiny goes on Twitter and he's like, Guys, it's complicated. You're making it sound like there's not violence coming from Palestine, too. It's like the All Lives Matter shit, you know? Imagine if, like, like the United States of America and someone's like, uh, you don't understand, there's still black violence on cops. Pe cops still die, the co black people, you know? Like, that's exactly what he's doing, basically. Um, I don't really give a fuck. I, I feel like I've outpaced him intellectually at this point because he's so spike-driven that he makes, like, horrible fucking takes. Dude, I hope people even, don't think that- he's Fuck, I hope people don't, like, associate me with this. I feel as though I've outpaced him intellectually. <laughs> like, who, who unironically utters these phrases? He finally talks with uh, Noah. Noah, what was that guy's name? He's a liberal economist. Um, what was this, um, this Noah guy? And um, Noah Opinion? That's what he goes by? Noah Opinion? N uh, anyway, uh, Destiny then completely walks back to take, and now it's about um, people in the tech industry who make six figures but decide to live in penthouse apartments that cost 6000 a month and then complain about their rent. Completely walks it back, like an absolute coward. Do you mean, when you say displacement, do you mean from infrastructure, like, you have to move so we can build this train track? No, I mean, you have to move because, um, so we'll say like in the place of California, absent Prop 13, you bought a $50,000 house, now it's worth $2 million, you can't afford the taxes on it, you should sell it and move. Like, how do you prevent displacing people got like it. that? Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Or I'm a, so I made for, a big assumption. owners. Yeah, are you pro- for owners. Yeah, are you pro Prop 13 or are you anti Prop 13? Anti Prop 13. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, so assuming no Prop 13, yeah. How do you prevent those people from being, being displaced or should you? Should you just like let them sell and leave or what? I mean, you, your home is worth $2 million now. I, you're, you're okay. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> you take your $2 million. Sure. All like, right. uh, okay. but if you, yeah, you know, there's, there's like a medium, like maybe if it was worth like a hundred thousand and now it's like 200,000 and you're real poor and you can't afford it, blah, blah, blah. But okay. like, if you have a two, if you have a $2 million house and you're like, I'm poor, I'm being displaced. It's like, you have a two million dollar house. Okay. Yeah. You have okay. Two million dollars. You're not rich. You're not. Uh, you're. I mean, two million dollars. Yeah. Okay. You're rich. You're not. Um. You're not Bill Gates. Wow. Like you have such a massively valuable asset, you can't even afford the taxes on it. That sounds like an awesome fucking problem to have. Sell it and move. Um, and yeah. Yeah. But people were very, very, very unhappy with that because he knew that if he gave his actual take, the stupid one, that the Noah person would lambast him for it. So instead, after all of that, he. If, hey, this is an open invitation. If Vosh wants to talk about any of my takes related to housing or Israel or Palestine or anything, uh, yeah, he's always welcome to do it. He's wrong on almost everything he says. I don't know what he's saying. I walked back here. I didn't walk back a thing, a single thing. Noah actually like aggressively agreed with me on stuff that I didn't. I actually thought we might go back and forth on. Um, Noah is actually hyper, hyper, hyper liberal. Um, Noah literally was saying like, just move to poor people. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, if, if Vaj ever wants to talk about anything he thinks was ever, I know he won't because now he's like on Crowder and Shapiro levels of being afraid of talking to somebody. But um, yeah, th it's funny that he thinks I walked anything back. <laughs> I asked Noah a probing question, thinking that we were going to have a back and forth. And I, just because of who Noah is, I kind of figure if he disagrees with me on something, I'm probably incorrect. So maybe I learned something. So I asked him a probing question about like 
property taxes and people being not able to afford it. And Noah aggressively jumped out and was yeah. like, hey, they can't afford it. Fucking sell their house and move. <laughs> what? What? I'm coming. How does Vosh think anything here is a walk back? I feel like I'm like the Voldemort to a lot of these people. It's so funny because it's like person on stream talking about Destiny when they think Destiny's watching. Destiny? <laughs> I watched that guy. He fucking walked back everything against Noah like a fucking coward. All he does is spite based politics and he hates the left. I think that he's intellectually been out, or he's been intellectually outpaced by me at this point. And then after Destiny says he's willing to debate. Look at the diff look at the difference in tone and mannerisms. Destiny's invitation? Didn't he say to debate me on Palestine or housing policy or something? What? No. I I I saw a, a clip that was provided. Um I don't even know if we disagree on Palestine Israel. I had a conversation with Dylan Burns and it seemed like we agreed on pretty much everything. When did when does Wash start ranting about me? We need to have a convo. Okay. All right. I've been seeing some ambiguity on the Reddit, and I guess there's some confusion. I'm sorry, I need to be clearer, okay? We'll be enforcing more clarity from this point forward, okay? Uh-oh. We're completely done engaging with Destiny. This isn't some, like, pithy back and forth. I've said that before, but we're committing to it this time. <laughs> in fact, I'm committing to it so hard that from now on, discussion of Destiny is banned, both in the Reddit and in the Discord. Which should I just, I just think it's very funny how hard we backtracked because I think it was originally like, fuck, what was the first thing he said? We were like, just, he's just spiteful, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And I was like, oh, well, if you think I'm so spiteful, why don't you just come and own me? We'll have a conversation, we'll have an e-debate about it. And he's like, well, <laughs> we agree on everything anyway, I don't want it. It's like, oh, you seem kind of timid. We're no longer talking about destiny ever in this community. <laughs> Are you okay? Holy shit. Should significantly improve the quality of both of those, uh Social spaces, by the Jeez. way. <sighs> I'm sure that he and his community will throw a fit about this being some sort of cowardice or whatever, but man. It act we okay. I, you to be fair, I don't think it's cowardly at all. I think Vosh has gotten a lot smarter. He's better at picking and choosing his fights. I think that's good. That shows improvement. You know what? Load up the clip channels. Load up the clip channels. Alright. We're not making a segment out of this, but other people sure as shit are going to, okay? <sighs> Alright. Because I have no intention of continuing to talk about this for like the next five fucking years. Let's just let's just talk about it a lot right now. Say it all right now, okay? Look. <clears throat> okay. First all right. of all, if you're like a DGG or you like Destiny, it's totally fine. We're not kicking anyone out of the community because uh, we're not Destiny, who banned tens of thousands of people from his community and Reddit once the left the arc began. Tens of thousands. Um, the problem is, look, Destiny's a real smart guy. There's really no getting around that. But this latest Left the Ark shit, in my opinion, has left him two things. One, it's left him really emotional. And two, it's meant that he is so uncharitable with lefties in general, but also specifically with me, that I feel like there's... I feel like he's kind of a troll at this point, a little bit. There's so much stuff that he's done. I, it's actually hard to, like, remember all of it. There's so much stuff that he's done that's been so fucked up that it's actually, like, really, really hard to take him seriously after it. Like, when Demon Mama was on Twitter saying that she got raided by a bunch of Nazi 4chaners telling her to kill herself, and Destiny accused her of faking it and making the post on poll himself, uh, herself. That was a base tweet, by the way. <laughs> like, just lying. But, like, normally he's, like, super, super hard on the, the lying online, but he just, like, did it. And then accusing, um, uh, then accusing uh, the serfs of funneling money into um, to Hamas, which was like again like really fucking weird and psychotic, and encouraging people to hack my website after the Rittenhouse <laughs> stuff, which again he never apologized for, even acknowledged. Didn't apologize Probably because in that case, oh his, my god, we do a little trolling here, like led him to say stuff that is a crime. I'm pretty sure that's a crime to tell other, like, your followers to hack somebody's website. I could, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, shit. Yeah. God um, damn it. The VGG lawyers are powering up. Oh, no. But, like, he he never even acknowledged that. Like, remember after the Rittenhouse stuff? He, Xander Hall came on for a conversation uh, with Destiny, I mean. And Destiny kept playing up this, like, I can't believe Vosh would do this. I thought we were friends type thing. Does anyone remember that? 
I never actually saw the full convo. I just saw a couple clips of it. But does anyone here remember that? The like, yeah, we were friends. I just didn't think. I have never been friends with Destiny. Oh my we have never god! Had a friendly con the nope. public walk back. Holy shit! Like we don't all have pictures of us hanging out after our little in-person <laughs> modern day debate thing and everything. There's got to be like a, we need to draw like a stages of destiny, like derangement or whatever, because they all follow like the same fucking, uh, the same fucking path, I think. No conversation we have ever had has ever extended beyond disagreeing over something. And I think he wished me a happy birthday like four years ago, but it was like really weird. Like, like he knew I wasn't there to point out to Zan that we've never been friends. So he was doing this like manipulator tactic thing. <laughs> what? Yeah. It was like really, really strange, you know? And then I well, I'm trying to think of what I even said to Zan. I don't know if I ever said I thought we were friends. I just think it's kind of weird that if there's a person that you, like, enjoy, like, why the fuck would you stand by as, like, your girlfriend or your roommate, like, cancels the fuck out? That just seems weird to me. I'm trying to think of, like, a comparable relationship I would have on stream where I would say the same thing. I'd consider, like, Dan and Moon to be friends. I don't think so. I guess I could just use Vosh. If I, like, talk to Vosh or we have arguments with Vosh, and then all of a sudden Melina goes on, like, some tirade to, like, cancel the fuck out of him and get him banned from everything, that would be, like, really, really, really weird. That would be super weird. I think I would be, like, uncomfortable with that. <clears throat> Remember, he's done that before, too. Like, after the Rittenhouse stuff, when Lumi... There was a clip of Lumi Rue, like, laughing a little bit. After... So, like, something had happened. Like, Destiny had gotten banned or something like that. And Lumi laughed in a clip. And then Destiny, like, freaked out about it and said, like, well, I anonymously donated $1,000 to Lumi's top surgery. And said it like over and over. I don't think I, I think I mentioned one time that it feels shitty when there are people that you consider to be friends. I guess people fixate on the money thing the most, but it just feels shitty when there are people that you kind of consider to be not friends, but like friendly. Um, they like have this like massive like anti destiny hate boner or whatever. And then I just like brought up like engagements with everyone in the past. I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me, but maybe it's not to some people. I don't know. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, Rush, don't do that. I saw this. Uh, given dog shit rhetoric, he was, is slash was a massive force for progressive politics on a massive platform. Okay. <clears throat> Before we begin discussing optics for a second, for just a couple minutes, yeah. um, we have a few different crab related emotes. <laughs> And the thing is, I knew that I mean, if I that did unreasonable any of this position, shit, but... it would be remembered, like, forever by my community. And he used to have a reputation for his community holding him to account, but it doesn't anymore. Because he banned all of the people. Every time there's a Reddit Tommy thread Lama, criticizing five dollars. him, everyone in the chat... Talking to Vosh about being friends top tier content. Yeah. ...replies goes 07, because they know that person's gonna be banned. I would be interested in seeing what the ban list looks like for Destiny's subreddit because I'd be willing to bet that it's probably hit like five digits at this point. Um, even like well-meaning criticisms, like it used to be the- Just for the record, I'd never ban like well-meaning criticism. The, the types of quote unquote criticisms or whatever that I ban, usually people will come on and say like, Destiny has turned into a brainless conservative hack, blah, 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 blah. Um, and that's typically what I ban, but okay. It depends on like what your tolerance is like at this point for me um, Sometimes people will have like okay-ish criticisms, but they phrase it in such a toxic way I usually just perma ban them I because if I can tell that somebody's never going to be able to engage in a healthy way It just it just it's too irritating for me, and I'll just get rid of them. Um, so like here's a good example, right? right? So I've been okay. Is this a guy? Um, so I've been talking about like um, some of this like Hamas and Israel stuff recently, right? So if sure. somebody um, posts something on my subreddit like Somebody could post something like this. Um, I disagree with Destiny's take on Hamas and Israel. I don't think that Destiny is giving a fair um, overview of everything that the Palestinians have suffered through. Um, the fact that they've been the victims of, you know, these types of occupations that Israel's done, that even international communities are doing blah, blah, blah. Like, that would be like a post somebody could make. It's like, they disagree with me. They state why they think I'm wrong. And then they give an explanation. And like, yeah, that's okay. I'm cool with that. Um, another type of criticism that might be the same type, or it might be the same criticism, but delivered way differently might be um, Destiny is so 
fucking angry at lefties. He's so fucking blind to his own biases. He can't see that Hamas has legitimate reason for being upset. He's such a fucking moron and he's so obsessed with dunking on people like Vosh. He's totally ignoring the outcomes of the six day war. He's totally fucking ignoring that the blah, blah, blah. And it's like, they're kind of like, they're delivering like criticisms of like, yeah, these are like decent points, but it's so fucking toxic. It's like, I just don't care. I just permaban instantly people like that. Because like the problem with those types of people is that type of mentality and attitude is infectious and it festers and it empowers and emboldens like other people that won't have legitimate criticisms towards you. And you can usually get like all of those legitimate criticisms from like people that are like a little bit less um, socially unaware um, in terms of like how they phrase things. I, I really don't like to say this publicly because I feel like I do embolden some of these shitheads, but even for the people that write the really, really toxic shit, I will still try to read through to see if they are making a point. Um, like I like the, um, the, like a funny kind of example is like, I got some email from some guy um, a while ago and it was very, very toxic. He basically said that I was a fucking moron, that I was letting these uneducated dipshits dunk on me because I was too stupid to read anything about math, blah, blah, blah. And it was a really toxic email and the guy phrased everything really toxic, but he brought up a lot of really good points. And now I have like really good responses when like pseudo philosophy majors try to bring up like Gödel's incompleteness theorem, or or people talk about like oh set theory isn't proven or whatever because like the guy gave me good pointers and gave me places to look at and I read up and I understand like a, a lot more about kind of like these fundamental structures of math or whatever. Um, but it was like phrased in a really toxic way, so I don't like to say publicly like oh well I'll still go through your feedback because then people are like oh well now I can just be a toxic shithead. I will generally still ban those people from my community, but it's still good if you can to go through the feedback. The, the way that I view this is like I, I take kind of like a pretty egotistical look at this. You're kind of like in a battle with your self here um and, and you have mm -hmm. to figure out because like there is value to be extracted from these people and and you you basically in a battle with yourself to figure out if if you can overcome your own ego to to extract the value there even though the other person is trying really hard to make it so that they're worthless if that makes any sense mm -hmm. his community held him to account but now criticism just gets banned so like does it do you know how many times destiny has threatened to bomb something destiny has threatened to bomb uh, ISP offices. Destiny has threatened to bomb and kill so many people and individuals. And because I'm not insane, I recognize what hyperbolic language looks like. But like, imagine if I like got up here and I was like, "Yeah, Destiny." Sh I don't think I've. Vosh really pulling the and some I suppose are good people. Omega lal. I don't think I've ever criticized Vosh for the um for the glass Israel thing. I just thought it was a little bit. I mean, like, I don't give a fuck. I, have I ever, have I ever criticized him for that? I don't think I've ever, like, been like, oh, I should have said that. That's super bad. I might have, like, made fun of, I think that in combination with the Zionist comment is, like, pretty bad. Uh, uh, or, or not pretty bad, but, like, pretty funny. But why wouldn't you, though? It was pretty bad. I don't know. I make hyperbolic comments about other countries all the time. I don't know. I think it's dumb. Should be banned from Twitch because he's a threat. Because he threatened to bomb an ISP one time. Well, it'd look kind of crazy, right? Because... Yeah, but there are people who are there are people in his community who are obviously clearly of the belief that like hasn't he publicly that was called for murking landlords and small business owners? Um, I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me. No, I, I know. I actually saw this. This was the top response in a Reddit post, by the way. This was the top response, not like some little downvoted thing. I had a conversation with Dylan Burns a couple of weeks ago about the Israel Palestine thing. Remember? And it was a good conversation, too. It was a good conversation. Uh, I like Dylan Burns a lot. I have a lot of respect for the guy. But, and um, oh, never mind. afterwards, there was some Reddit thread in Destiny's Reddit that got posted about it. And um, some the, 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 the headline was, you know, look, Vosh had a talk with Dylan Burns. And you know what the top reply was? I'm serious. The top reply was, it was boring. Vosh had his mask on the whole time. True, probably. Like, it, you, okay, you realize the middle would be calmer if they succeeded and obliterated it, if they nuked it and wiped it off the map, that would lead to a more peaceful middle than one that exists right now. What's your solution? Are you... R really? Okay, first of all, it still needs to fucking go. And when that's the point you've reached with a community, what the fuck is even the point of trying to talk with them? Which is funny, because that's how Vosha's community has treated me for literally years. <laughs> and then I'm some mask on fucking fascist conservative, but... Not to mention Destiny calling me an anti-Semite the other day, then why- Damn. For people that are mad, like, Destiny, why do you spread lies on Twitter sometimes? So it's fucking- Because why- Why not? Because sometimes it's funny, because no matter how hard I try otherwise, like, people will misquote the fuck out of me regardless, so who the fuck cares? I might as well beam it up. Like, I'm pretty sure I said literally, like, four million fucking times, like- 
I don't know if Vosh is anti-Semitic, I don't think so, but this is like a pretty anti-Semitic thing to say. Like, I think I literally qual- I think I literally qualified that, like, and I knew it was worthless. Because it doesn't matter if I- it doesn't matter if I do it or not, because people are still gonna take it, like, a million times, like, the, the other direction regardless. Because I don't instantly say people are racist or anti-Semitic or blah blah blah, which I don't think I've said for Vosh. I don't know if he's anti-Semitic. Um, but I mean, like, if I wanted to, and it's annoying too, because like, I do treat these people with more fucking charitability than I would ever fucking get, even though people constantly accuse me of not. Like, the guy that was banned from Twitch for saying glass Israel, okay, and then is saying shit like, like, Pac-Man is hiding his positions, like a sneaky Jew, I guess, about his Zionism, like, what, like, Jesus, fuck. If any alt-writer had made, like, this combination of statements, fucking, like, Nazi radar would be exploding in your dashboard, you're like, oh, Nazi, Nazi. Nazi, that's absolute. There's one million percent. Of course, that's a Nazi. Like, with that, like, you guys have to consider. Like, this is a group of people that like see somebody throw up an OK sign one time in their lifetime, and like, oh yeah, that guy's a 100% card carrying fucking Nazi. Now again, I don't know if Vosh is a Nazi. I just or not a Nazi. I don't think Vosh is a Nazi or anti-Semitic or whatever. It's just well, if Vosh is anti-Semitic or not. I'm not sure. But there is a massive fucking yikes in calling somebody a fucking Zionist who is a Jewish outside of Israel. Or maybe it's just we're in the online world, so we're just used to saying that. Uh, Walking it back, um, I noticed that me calling Deepak a Zionist and then literally 10 seconds later clarifying my statement is walking it back. But Destiny calling me an anti-Semite and then the next day saying on stream that he didn't mean it, he actually meant that what I just said was interpretable as an anti-Semite. That's not walking it back. He clip chimped that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he used to hate clip chimping, but he does it to me all the time. It's like like the moment it happened on my stream. No mention of the 37 hours of fundraising. The moment some tiny little thing he could find to clip chimp, he did it. And then his community was calling me anti-Semite. One of the people in his Reddit said that me saying that Deepak was a Zionist was... I've made two clips. Clips of my channel? Or wait, are those clips I've created? One was of Koibu's and one was of Anna's stream. I wonder if these were misclips. It's like, which by the way, I just think it's inarticulate language, which is why I clarified. But one of them said it was like calling, saying the N word about a black person. One of them said, that, like this betrays, like the only reason I said it is because Deepak is Jewish. What am I supposed to do when a community is this far gone? In Clips sometimes generate themselves if you click the button. You don't even have to click generate for it to happen. Oh, maybe. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I just usually rely on you guys for clips. I just copy paste here. Shit. In terms of like the charitability <clears throat> towards me, Deep Destiny and Destiny's community are at like Kiwi Farms levels. It feels like. Like if I do something <laughs> and then I go on Kiwi Farms, I could like give a, I could give like a, I could rescue a cat from a burning building. And you go on Kiwi Farms and they'll be like, he just wanted to fuck that cat. He likes the smell of burning hair. Or some it's funny that he uses that, it's funny that he uses like that example. Like, if I do something good, they'll just have to do it for the wrong reason. When it was the, I don't know if anybody has the clip. I just thought it was really funny. Our mascot Vosh moment is when he was in the middle of this Palestinian charity. And he's like, I just hope that you guys can see with all the good that I'm doing. I hope that some of you larger content creators will want to talk to me now. <laughs> I think that was one of my favorite charity moments, probably in the history of all of of Twitch charity moments. Does anybody have that clip so it doesn't sound like I'm just making that up? Somebody, can somebody, fuck, does anybody have a link to that? Because it's going to sound like I'm exaggerating that I'm making it up. And like a bunch of random stores that nobody oh, has wait, wait, wait. dead. Sorry, just one moment. We actually just got raided by Hassan, my oh. wonderful friend. Please, yes, just, just tank my Twitch chat with Hassan Raid. You know, I really hope that this big live stream, the charity, the positivity, all of it, I hope that it in, uh, <sighs> Encourages some people who are on the fence about me to be more open to working with me in the future. Working with me, I mean, you know, speaking amicably. That would be nice, I think. Your Reddit was defending Vosh for doing charity from Mike from PA. Yeah, the charity stuff Vosh was good. I mean, somebody goes to the Palestinian kids and everything. I think it's fun. My, Mike is insane. I just, I still think it's funny though that just got here. Why is Vosh banning mentioning or banning all mentions? Hold on. If Vosh is so mad about people taking him out of context, maybe he should come and chat about it, Homsteiny. <clears throat> True. Yeah, just got here. Why is Vosh suddenly banning all mentions of you? I didn't see you do anything recently. Um, I think it's just because I challenged him to that debate, and now he's like, in the last one at least, didn't go very well for him. Shit like that, like some insane. Yeah, like that's but like that's what I feel when I look there, and like. I do what I do when I talk. My, one big problem that I have too with the quote-unquote Vosh walking it back is sometimes I feel like he says things 
because he knows it plays well with this community, even if it's wrong. And then he thinks he just walk it back for free later. Um, I can't remember every time he's done this, but he's done this like quite a bit, right? Like he's retweeted um, fake clips related to um, BLM stuff and the Capitol Police stuff that he's had to walk back the next day. Um, he retweeted a bunch of fake clips about the GME stuff, and then he walked it back the next day. Um, <clears throat> there's but yeah, especially with the breaking news shit. Like he'll come out and he'll give the take that he needs to to like stay pure in the eyes of his community, even if it's wrong because he doesn't need to do research or care about it. And then um, and then after like the next day or the ne- that night or like oh hold on I gotta unretweet that guy's it wasn't good right he does that um, yeah he does shit like that a lot which is it, which is so it's kind of annoying. To, to hear somebody like, oh, well, I walked it back. I walked it back. It's like, okay, sure. But you like, you still got all your social credit and brownie points for saying it initially. Like, I don't think the walking back, I don't think you get much credit for it when you do that constantly. But I mean like, oh, the stabbing girl thing recently too. Wait, did he? What, what, I didn't even see anything in regards to that, but um, yeah. So it's, it's just annoying when you have somebody like that. It's like, oh, well, I walked it back. I walked it back. To the people I talk to in part because it's good for the channel which isn't really applicable here because this community is not good for my channel because it's good for my ideology, which likewise, I don't think that's the case. And most importantly, because it's fun, but it's- Imagine, um, imagine thinking that you can like, I, I wonder what like his stated mission goal is now. It's like, imagine you think you can convert like homophobic or anti-Semitic or like super hateful right-wingers. You're gonna get them from those communities, but Destiny's community, whew, that one is just, it's way too far gone. That one is just insane people. You can never reach out. Like, how do, how do you expect to reach out to all of the other people? Like, what? Uh, he did this to defend Six Hexenhammer, who was so afraid of me, he made that same video about how he'll never debate me when I hadn't even said anything to him. I was just, I just woke up one day and there were people like announcing they were afraid to debate me. I, it was very, very weird. Um, but anyway, like now Sargon kind of fits this to a T. Um, Sargon won't debate. Uh, he's scared. He he fears, you know. Uh, and he, he spent that entire video, this one, tone policing. It was literally just like, well, you call yourself a feminist. I I can never do a consistent Brit Bonger accent. I'm really sorry. You call yourself a feminist, but <laughs> it's kind of stupid, isn't it? You said can't or something something along those lines. It's something to that effect. I imagine this is effectively something he sounded like three head, um, and um. And he's doing this to, like, simp or defend for um, somebody who is archetypically like an SJW, as we imagine them, just on the right. But they're exactly the same in, other, in every other way, like a fat, side-cut lady, um, hypersensitive, you know, very whiny, um, very safe spacey, you know, that kind of thing. It was just really weird for me. And it's, it's really funny to see the, the cultural paradigm shift on this one. Um, you know, what's the, what's the, like, the, the right is getting better at comedy and the left is running scared? Unironically, um, the left is getting better at debate and the right is fucking terrified. Um, it is, it is really funny to see all of these people who built a career off of being irreverent edgelords who, you know, have a do or die attitude and, you know, are just here to tell the truth, turn into like these simpering cowards. Um, it is very, very funny. For me. Um, and I will admit, I will be for, you know, I will admit, I do enjoy debating them. So their unwillingness to debate um, is sometimes frustrating because they say a lot of dumb stuff. And I would like to tell them to their face that they are stupid and why the things they say are dumb. Oh, he retweeted this stupid clip. Three white officers say blue lives matter to a group of black residents at the scene where police shot and killed a 15 year old girl. This never happened. We watched it. They didn't say that. It was just stupid. Yeah. But he did this one too. Yeah. Yeah. He does this shit all the time. Not fun here at all. Um, it's actually really aggravating to see a community that I was a part of for like a decade lose its mind this hard. I, I haven't even, I'm listing like a billionth of what I can remember. And what I can remember is a billionth of what's actually happened. All a billionth. of the insane bullshit that's happened in that community that, by the way, Destiny has facilitated. Oh, this no. isn't like his community. Destiny does this. Remember when I talked with him about, like, Abigail Thorne and Destiny defended the idea that Ben Shapiro wasn't racist? Remember that? He had to argue with his chat after I left. He even said about that famous... Wait, but I thought I banned all the people that disagreed with me. Why would there be anybody left to argue with my chat about? 
Ben Shapiro Palestine tweet, you know, Arabs like to live in sewage and bombed out buildings. He even said something like that. I swear to God, I thought this was a fever dream. Destiny said something like, well, Ben Shapiro's Jewish. Can you imagine there's any reason why he would have said something like that about the Palestinians? Which I didn't know was an excuse for racism. I didn't realize that if a white guy grows up in like, Brooklyn that he one of the funny things at least now about all kind of like the Palestinian stuff is like man dude nothing holds lefties matter than holding them to the same standards that they hold people on the right to um I'm still agnostic towards the Ben Shapiro like I, I just I think that there are better ways to analyze things and just calling people racist or fascist I think that it's usually like a little bit more nuanced than that um but I, some people get really asked about that but that's fine but like you can't be saying that like oh well they have this one tweet where they said this one thing um, and then also like glass Israel and you know Israel shouldn't exist and blah 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 and it's like okay I mean like if we're going by like if we're holding people to the same standards then I don't know I just it seems kind of dumb to me but whatever you can still call the tweet racist though yeah I mean I think that tweet was a little weird from Benny Boy sure he gets to like post or kill all landlords yeah Twitter or whatever I didn't know that was <laughs> the logic we were following here but yeah just <laughs> look. At the end of the day, it just seems like everything Destiny does at this point is spite. Destiny used to come down super hard on Israel and be pro-Palestine back when he argued with Lauren Southern in 2016. Now he's not. Now every time Israel comes up, he just shits on lefties. He doesn't even talk I about Israel like or Palestine. He just... Did you hear that sound, chat? That is a man who is willing to fight tankies and Nazis but is too scared to fight Destiny because it is too hard. This is proof that socialism does not have an answer against omniliberalism. God, well, the um, I also this is so annoying too. Like, I, like when Destiny argues against conservatives, it seems like he comes down a lot harder on Israel. Well, yeah, usually because they're saying that Israel is doing nothing wrong. But when he argues against lefties, it seems like he comes down really hard on the Palestinians. Well, yeah, because lefties say Hamas does nothing wrong. Like, yeah, I mean that's kind of what ends up happening because none of these conversations are good. They're all garbage. Shits on lefties. There was a tweet he did. Oh, good. Israel announced a ceasefire. Now lefties can go t back to talking about college tuition. Student loans, actually. But isn't that kind of ironic? Destiny's argument is that lefties only... First of all, the idea that lefties don't care about the Middle East is ridiculous. Second of it's all, not. Destiny's it's argument is that true. lefties only focus on trivial things. Israel declares a ceasefire, and Destiny's first thought is to tweet out that lefties are doing something wrong. Even his, com yeah, even his community oh pointed that God. out. Yeah, you can... The, the trend here is pretty obvious. Look, this is his own damn Reddit. Look. I don't think I can beat this guy right now. Destiny's friends taking the ceasefire. A ceasefire Wait, how is my Reddit criticizing me so much when he says I banned every single person that disagreed with me? It doesn't matter like how much money they own their student loans. This is some terminally online shit, by the way. And terminally online. I used to think online. Destiny wasn't like terminally online, but anyway, <laughs> and then the top comment is pointing this out. A ceasefire has been announced, thank goodness. Now Destiny can resume ignoring the existence of the entire Middle East and go back to issues that really I don't even know what's hitting me. I can't see shit. They own their student loans. The top response to that is 07. Because everybody knows what happens when you disagree with Destiny on his Reddit. Everybody. I don't knows. know if this guy's actually bad or not because it was a pretty good meme. But like, it's a meme. Like, it's it happens enough that it's known. <laughs> if it's being memed about. Everything that he does now is driven by spite. It's insane. Um, Like... He used to be, um, he used to be, like, um, and, like, pro getting money out oh. of politics and pro Bernie. Now he's not. He hates Bernie bros and he thinks that people overstate the influence of lobbying, you know? He claims that he doesn't have- Oh, now he's got to run down his destiny list of positions so I've changed on over the past three years. them as not socialists and calls them liberals, so he doesn't have to bother wasting time arguing against their positions. Can now, I hit his hands behind the wall? Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Aggression. Now he's not. Now he's just anti-lefty narrative on this thing. Every, like, uh, uh, he, he- He's not even pro abandoning the electoral college. He's pro Citizens United now. These are all positions he used to be against. I've said, well, I guess it's kind of worthless now because he's effectively, I guess he's taking the Hassan route, which props to him. Um, but the, um, I think I said before, before he realized that he can't talk to me about anything, um, if there's anything that anybody thinks I've changed a position on to just spite lefties with no justification, I would love to hear that. I'm very, very, very interested. Um, because I'm very confident that like on every issue that he's bringing up like I know that my new position is better than my old one But I mean there's a reason why he doesn't want to have a conversation about that, right? But the lefty arc happened and now point by point by point he moves right further and further But it doesn't look that way to a lot of his followers because he still holds baseline progressive positions And it just looks like he's attacking the far left, but he's not He's not just attacking the far left. 
His entire political advocacy is oriented around hating lefties now. And it's real anger, too, by the way. It's real. It's not like some disaffected, like, trolling the left type thing. Have you seen how he talks about lefties? He gets fucking mad. Like Demon Mama. I like get Demon Mama could be obnoxious sometimes. He loses his mind. He said socialists are the same as Nazis. He said everyone in the left. I didn't say that. I said they should be treated the same as Nazis, which, by the way, I still stand by one million percent. Also, this is also weird, too. Because, like, of course I'm going to have, like, a stronger reaction towards Demon Mama than, like, random senators or Republicans. Because I personally interact with this person. Of course I'm going to have, like, a like a, a more visceral reaction. Like, what? Anything else to him? Because that person is oh, a fucking... He did misgender me. Holy shit. He actually did misgender me. Loser. Um, who else do we have? We've got Miss Tricky. Uh, I actually did misgender me. Nice. Like... Do you think I'm gonna see something like Ted Cruz just tweeted this out and I'm so fucking mad about like well, of course what do you King mean? Stallion five dollars. It's very telling that Vosh thinks being anti brain dead take is anti left. Yeah, a little bit. If he said philosophy tube should be the platform, Big Joel should be the platform, what have you, what have you. When he openly lies on Twitter, backpedals just make shit up. Whatever, he's just trolling. Anyway, we're we're rambling now. The point is, I I just, I mean, I can be harsh on this. I just think it's made him really stupid. He used to be a really thoughtful and introspective person, but when it comes, the re the funny thing about this, like the reason why I know <clears throat> he doesn't actually feel this way, is because he's trying to signal to his audience that I'm an idiot. But the reality is, is like, well, like. No offense, but if Vosh is a mini me, right? What do you do when you see like dumb fucks online that are really loud? You want to talk to them. Because like, that's the, those are the best conversations. Because if I can find some guy that's really confident in his positions, it's super loud about him online, I'm about to get a 300,000 view YouTube video roasting and grilling the fuck out of them on my stream, right? That's what you do to people. Either. Well, I mean like, that's what we do, right? We're debate bros. I mean, Vosh is a mini me, and I started the whole, well, I don't think I started debate bro culture, but I was a big contributor to it online. Um, so the idea that he would like simultaneously sit there and be like, oh, Destiny's just, I have intellectual at pace him. He's really wrong, he's really dumb. Um, <clears throat> but I, uh, I can't engage with anymore. Those communities are just, uh, it's too much. Like he's just, uh, 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 you know. Oh, oh yeah. Well, if you your ideas are so great, why can't you debate me? And then, and like this, this was going on for years. Like they were horrible. Um, if you care about like harassing people, which I try not to do, you know, these people postured themselves as like the intellectual gatekeepers of the universe, dude. And now, and I'm just, I'm going to be a little bit conceited here. Because I've debated Sargon twice, and I know for a fact he got really fucking mad after the last debate that I had with him. Whew. I mean, he was feeling real good after the first one. That's what made him do the second one. And he was feeling real bad after that second one, okay? That's why he didn't make a video on it. Um, I'm going to assume this is largely about me, okay? So, how fucking pathetic of you to posture as these debate lords for years, and then a couple people on the left actually engaging in debate and all of you back the fuck off it's actually a really really smart survival strategy on your part because none of you stand a fucking chance against any, not just me anyone who has done any amount of research on any of the subjects you guys talk about the moment you get rid of the inherent power differential um that is the with like tiny little left tubers arguing with Big Daddy Sargon or whatever, the moment you get rid of that fear and intimidation, you guys collapse like a house of cards and you run away. I just think it's kind of funny. When it comes to dealing with left-leaning issues, I think he's completely lost the ability to account for himself or like think about what he's saying or doing, you know? Um, he just gets really mad and he's cultivated a community now that'll follow him along with that. Whenever he does something stupid, you know what they say? Blood, blood, blood. When I say something hyper unproductive or like detrimental to our broader ideological goals, you guys tend to call me out in it for the most part. Even with the- <laughs> I like how he says, I like what he says, you guys call me out on stuff. Dead's community never calls me out, but this is after he literally spends like five minutes reading shit on my subreddit of people like calling me out. Does, does he forget what he just said like three minutes ago?
Um, is it that you hate the left, or is it the broader left has started falling down the socialist rabbit hole? Um, that it's not as fringe as it used to be. That more lefties are far left. Yeah, my problem. The my problem with like quote unquote the left is that a lot of them like spend so much time like attacking Biden and shit. So like when I'm talking about like the Brianna Joys or the Jimmy Doors or the Kyle Kalinske, like yeah, of course I hate these fucking people. But like there's not really much in terms of the Republican media to talk about at the moment, right? Like Trump is kind of relegated to his own little corner of the internet. Um, you've got some Republican senators and congressmen that say or do dumb things. But like I mean generally, at least in the online world, like the big thing right now is like all the dipshit lefties that are like call force the vote and like attack biden constantly like all of that shit so yeah of course it's gonna be where my attention goes to but <clears throat> tanky stuff a lot of you were like eh, i think you're over fixating on this which i respect you know that happens all the time my community does hold me to account he just yeah he defends private drug companies now Sorry, even Kella, even he just it's so funny that um gets an extra mod in youtube chat were being spammed by anti-semites he defends drug companies. Like, it's funny because I know how his mind works and so much of his personality is copy washed for me, right? Um, the, the fact that, like, the fact that he would say all these things that I'm wrong about, but he doesn't want to talk about any of them. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's so fucking funny. Holy shit. Positions that I know, like, on the Israel shit, man. Like, he just, I don't even know if we disagree on Palestine, Israel. I had a conversation with Dylan Burns, and it seemed like we agreed on pretty much everything. He'll just take anti-left positions. Anyway, anyway. Anyway. Do you think Destiny is or will become soon a fascist? Um, no, I think that Destiny is a contrarian, first and foremost. It took me a while to see it, but I uh, think that's the most consistent it narrative out. you can ascribe. When he started fighting against the right back in 2016, you know what he was saying. Are we still letting him walk with the whole moral anti-realism stuff he stumbled upon in the other conversation with you? He he just he kind of like copied a lot of my higher level positions, and he doesn't understand. That's why like every now and then he'll throw in the word like, "Aren't you a consequentialist?" But it's uh, who cares? Ethics are boring. Fuck that. These skeptics are everywhere on YouTube. These fascists are everywhere on YouTube. These alt writers are everywhere on YouTube. He was very interested in defining himself as a response to a broader trend. And you know what he's been saying for the past two years? Now BreadTube is the big thing on YouTube. Now it's lefties that are hyper popular. What's the next wave going to be? If you actually listen for him saying it, it's true. He actually fixates on the. Is pro bester five pounds? What so you think is the largest variables that caused people to move to the left? Um, I mean, I think everybody. I think it's pretty easy to get radicalized extreme uh, of to, through left or the right online. I don't know. Just it depends on a lot of different things. Popularity of his opposition, almost as though his concern wasn't repping a certain set of ideas, but opposing what's most popular. It's so it's so weird to hear him define me this way. I've always. Like one of the hallmarks of what I try to do is I've always said like it's really important to build your um, ideas up from like these fundamental moral positions. This is why we spent like a whole year arc doing philosophy and like arguing with JF and all that shit. Like I think we've done like a lot of like fundamental building, but maybe I guess he missed that part because he didn't, obviously didn't copy any of that shit. But <clears throat> Matthew Burr, six Canadian dollars and ninety nine cents. I don't really see lefty stuff in my real life and I'm young. There are some people that support that stuff at my campus, but no one really talks and, to them. I mean, nice. I mean, I still think that the online left is minuscule and infinitesimal compared to the broader conservative and fascist trend in this country. But when you're posting tweets like, Israel has declared a ceasefire, now the left can... Is it that you are angry with the left? Or is it that the far left has become more Wait, didn't I just read your... and has a worrying lack of opposition within the broader left wing? Um, I think the broader left wing in America opposes them. I think I already read your thing, though. But... Go back to complaining about college tuition. Maybe you're just too always online to even see that anymore. Remember when he defended J.K. Rowling's transphobia by saying she was too old to understand? Yeah, I remember. He... Oh, yeah, wait. Wh I saw this. I read this on... I read this on Vosh's subreddit before, where... I think is he must read his own subreddit too. People get this idea that I defended J.K. Rowling. I feel like I feel like when I introduced that article to stream, I feel like what I said was initially when you read J.K. Rowling's post, some of it kind of seems a little bit like acceptable, and then you get to like this part, and it's like, whoa, you are like word for word talking like turfy talking points. Like on June 10, J.K. Rowling published an essay to her website, which on Twitter she titled "Turf Wars." Oh God, if this is the one we read. I think this was the one where, like, halfway in, it's like, yeah, this is actually chill. I feel good that she staked her position on this better. And then I think she just goes full fucking turf, like, oh, God, what are you doing? Oh, no. 
I feel like the intro to the essay, the first few paragraphs is like pretty good. And then she just like she just jumps off the deep end and it's like, oh my God, um, yikes. Just anything like if a left leaning person takes a oh destiny gonna echo that past Dono's message. I'm pretty politically in tune and don't really see any hardcore left messaging in my real life group of friends that consists of conservatives, liberals and moderates. That's a cool story, bro. The position he immediately has to saying Ben Shapiro is not racist. Have you watched or read anything from Ben Shapiro? Christ. Took him minutes to move over. The reason why I feel even more confident about that position, by the way, I think Ben Shapiro is a deplorable person. But like, I just, I just hate the, I hate the idea of calling every single person like racist and fascist. I, I don't know. I feel like these words have become basically meaningless in left-leaning forums. Um, and somebody asked me about, I don't remember what it came up in a conversation. Like, do you think Ben Shapiro is racist? And I was like, and I was trying to think. It was like I see him say like a lot of like the standard like trickle-down economics, like the dumb shit, conservative shit. But I don't know if I see him say shit like Steven Crowder. Like Crowder is somebody, especially after the weird like you know the black shit there was a black um like comedy thing he did for like two minutes not black comedy where he was like making fun of like it was like the u.s commission on civil rights confirmed as long ago as 1965 the u.s department of agriculture discriminated against black farmers but little was done to address a hundred years ago <laughs> yeah uh, most happy about the new policy these people so yeah i'm all black i'm gonna uh, buy a plow man i'm gonna plant that corn <laughs> go get a job there barack obama mother i'm the president of plowing that ad you <laughs> i thought the last thing they would want to do is be farmers wasn't that a big problem yeah. for hundreds yeah. of years yeah isn't that why arsenio yeah. hall called himself the urban man's johnny carson i think holy so. yikes i don't know, I don't know. People, jesus are christ people lining up out in the middle of cornfield iowa for new dunks <laughs> Uh, how would you prove <laughs> this, by the way? Like, how would you prove yeah. that you've been discriminated against? You don't against? have to. You just Well, I didn't say, get that loan. Sir, you had no credit. Well, that should not have stopped me from getting the loan. Uh, I planted a Hennessy tree, <laughs> but it's not growing. <laughs> well, I, well, technically, it did grow, but that shit ain't XO. Mm -mm. I put it on the ground. <laughs> I planted a VSOP XO tree. I'm getting in some niche esoteric cognac humor, motherfucker. <laughs> Um, Don't white people just go to their neighborhoods and build urban farms and ruin their <laughs> yeah. Isn't that Jesus what Christ! Turns out the, uh, the 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 soil content is a high level of meth. Yeah. Crazy! Oh. Wow! Well, I didn't know that in teeth. There's <laughs> <for them>. teeth <laughs> littered teeth. everywhere. And uh, oh. but isn't meth a? I thought that was a white man. I thought meth. Excuse me, Crowder. Are you selling our culture down to the down the road to black people? Meth is a white man's drug. That's our thing, okay? Fuck you. That was some shit. Um, but for Ben Shapiro, oh fuck, do I have to fight them there? Um, I just I don't remember him saying like overtly like racist shit. Or like, oh yeah, this motherfucker is super racist. It all just sounded like standard conservative shit to me. The tweet about Arabs, which is sh shitty and arguably racist or whatever. Um, but I also know that he's like probably big on a lot of Jewish stuff. Um, he's probably pretty anti-Palestinian and shit too. But um. Yeah, I noticed that, like, but, and, and I even think I said at the time, I was like, it's possible that Ben Shapiro is, like, super racist, but, like, I just, I'm trying to think of, like, recent content of his I watch. It doesn't seem like he hits up, like, those racist talking points a lot. It all just seems like kind of standard conservative shit to him. People lost their minds. When you look at Dustin, you ever worried that you'll go down the same kind of rabbit hole at some point in the future, too? Now that I'm seeing what his behaviors lead to now, no, I really don't think so. I do have a tendency to be over always online. I was born online. God, I hate the... I hate how performative all of this shit is. It drives me fucking crazy. It's kind of, it reminds me of like when I sat on the Raj show and I was like, I hate interacting with characters because you feel stupid. Cause it's like, I, cause my beliefs are all very genuine. You can talk to anybody I've talked to in real life and online, offline, wherever. Like I pretty much say the same shit wherever I am. Um, but like, I, I can tell that like a lot of his stuff is just so fucking performative and it drives me fucking crazy. Uh, no getting around that. But I actually believe in something, like, fundamentally. Not like, I'm really angered by these other people online and my beliefs have to be defined in opposition to that and so on and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you, why don't you ever talk to Big Joel? Um, yeah. I tried to during the charity live stream, yeah. but his mic was so bad we actually couldn't, couldn't hear him. Yeah. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to get to here is that if it's not fun and the community is so bad faith that they... they if the community yeah. is so bad faith that a pleasant conversation I have with um, Dylan Burns is dismissed because I had my mask on the whole time, then there's just no point anymore. Yeah. Uh, and ma'am, if we have any mutuals who still like Destiny, that's totally, totally cool. But I would really encourage you to, like, look at him the way that I do now. Or, or I don't know. Like, <laughs> pay Jesus attention Christ. to some of the trends that I've pointed out. 
the reflexive anger and hatred towards lefties, the obsession with contrarianism, the backpedaling and the lying, but then condemning other people for backpedaling and lying and banning people who call him out in his behavior when he does it. True. Because he does it a lot. True. And if there are any other content creators who know both of us, it's only a matter of time before he does to you what he did to like me and a bunch of other people. He's got a lot of people. He's on a no talk um, uh, uh, deal with these days. Okay. Wait, who? What? He's got a lot of burnt bridges in his past. And it's not surprising to me because it seems like at some point something you do, some position you take or behavior that you engage in, clicks a switch in his brain and he decides you are no longer worthy of treating in good faith. Like, you're no longer worth that. It's not just that I won't anymore, it's that you're no, you're below that degree of treatment, and from now on, everything I do with you is just blood sports. You know? Does that make sense? So anyway, that's, that's really all I have to say about it. So, the position that I have on this now is like, uh, discussion of him is banned on Discord and Reddit, and also here in the chat, uh, because I just don't care anymore. We spent entirely too long being concerned with the opinion that he and his community have had. Any drama farmers, any clip chimps, any drama frogs, whatever, you're all going to get banned. Not because you side with Destiny. How long will this one last, guys? Attention. I do not care anymore. But if you want to just chill and watch the stream, then you'll always be welcome here. Okay? What about offline chat? I mean... If no mods are around, we can't get you, right? Until our next hot take, yeah. That's that's the rule with everything, isn't it? The original thing that I said a while ago that I, it still seems true is I think Vosh is really, really, really mad after our last talk. I feel like most of my points are pretty coherent or salient Ugh. in terms of my arguments with him, but he always seems to like walk away with like optics wins, so I think he's like okay with that because he doesn't really care what he's arguing about as long as he looks good. But I think especially in the last the last conversation, I think the last two that we had, I think that there were some pretty big optics hits that he took that he didn't like. And I think that made him like super, super, super ass mad. Um, so the most recent one, was the most recent one about the, if I don't do it, someone else is going to? Was that the most recent one? Um, I think so, yeah, the socialist business owner. Um, I think he, yeah, I think he was really, really, really upset with how that conversation played out. Cause he, he was like more mad because generally after our conversations, he's usually like pretty glib. Um, he was a lot after the Rittenhouse one. Cause usually, regardless of if I think I'm right or wrong, he usually walks with optics wins. Although I think on the Rittenhouse one, I think even in that one, he said some stuff that was pretty dumb. The submit to the mob thing triggers the fuck out of him a lot. I know that still triggers him. If you defend yourself in a morally justified way, and then you retreat from that situation and a mob is chasing you down, and it's possible that they'll kill you if they get their hands on you. Do you think you're obligated to submit yourself to the mob? Um, I actually have to think about that. Generally, I think, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, like we disagree, like on the on the fundamental. Like, I, I don't think you should have to submit yourself to um to to mob justice if you uh, if you were um. If you were justified in your earlier defense, but don't you don't you? Th I mean, this is what we have to do with police officers as well. Even if there's a shooting situation and we're in the right, if the police arrive, we don't just go up to them and they're like, "Yeah, dude, you have to drop your gun, get out on your fucking knees, and hope they don't mistake you for the shooter." And I oh, think, oh no, that wait a second, they shot Ahmad after he tried to take one of the other guy's guns away, yeah, didn't they? Because they aggressed on him. Yeah, they rolled up in front of him, blocked his way, and pointed guns at him. Wait, I think wait, 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 wait! But didn't they only aggress on him because they thought that he did something bad earlier? Nah, they were a uh, uh, um, the truck, a gun had been stolen from one of their trucks like a couple of weeks ago and they thought it was him because his jogging route was in the area uh so it was literally just let's find out if they thought that he'd stolen a firearm and they thought that they were justified in in, in chasing him no, down because why shouldn't why shouldn't he have to submit himself to their mob rule there why shouldn't he have to submit them he doesn't there? because he isn't at risk of killing them and they're at risk of killing him he had guns i mean they had guns he didn't have a gun but he tried to take one of their guns but well I mean, first of all, he didn't. But second of all, if they saw a gun on him and he drew that gun on them, then I think they would have been justified in firing on him, even if they had been the ones to pull up in front of him. But he didn't have a gun. Okay. 
So that's interesting. So let's say hypothetically these three white guys in the truck drove up on him and he thought he was in danger of his life and he pulled out his firearm. You think those three guys have a right to execute him? If he if he uh, if those three guys pull up in trucks in front of him and Ahmad Arbery initiates by brandishing a firearm at them uh, before they've demonstrated lethal intent, then yes, I think they would be in the right for attacking or killing Ahmad Arbery. That's not Damn, what happened, okay. though. So, yeah, wait, that's not. Yeah, absolutely. If Ahmad Arbery <laughs> unjustifiably draws a fight. Wait, are you trying to get me unjustifiably? on? Unjustifiably? Like if a mob shows up to fucking lynch you, you think you're unjustifiable and like yeah. preemptively trying to brandish legal. If force? trucks roll up in front I mean, of you with no firearms drawn and you're the first one to point a gun at other people, then, yeah, I think you're you're fair and exercising self-defense. One hundred percent. Okay, I think if you're a black dude and you're jogging around and you got some racist fuck hillbillies that show up in a fucking F-150, all three of them roll up on you. I don't know, man. I, you I think just get okay to start shooting. It, the, the, you assume they're like fucking rolling up and you chasing you or some shit, and you you don't have to start wait, shooting. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait, not wait, I'm you chasing. But like, those guys just execute you. Murder, the second shooting, he was case. literally laying on his ass, firing shots at people twenty feet away who weren't even moving towards him. Hold on. Can somebody please link the video so that we can watch it? Have you watched that video? Uh, I, I mean, I've watched, I think, that video, yeah. Can somebody link the second video so that we can watch it together? Because I have no idea what the fuck you are talking about. Hold on. <sighs> Chat. It's like he was running to his side. Definitely wasn't 20 feet away. I misremember that part. I acknowledge that. Um, but yeah, I don't think he was happy with the last one at all, so now he's like, fuck this shit. Did Vosh ever ask you to get him unscuffed? He seems so sad in these DGG logs. Wait, what? 2021. Is this DGG or VGG? Why am I not unscuffed? True, sad, you're depressed to me. I'm gonna know something weird. Trainrex doesn't follow my 151,000 Twitter account, but he does follow my 231 follower private art account. <laughs> Jesus. Thoughts on Palestine needing to submit to Israel? Yeah, true. The mob. Seems he thinks you're a contrarian because you push back against extreme positions born out of shifting political moves. Yeah, I don't know. Like, obviously, like, what I talk about is going to vary based on what everyone else around me is talking about. Like, <clears throat> hold on. Let's pour a soy one out for the Vosh Bridge guys. Never stood a chance. Darfield Sippy. Cool. Um, like, if I go into, like, an atheist convention or whatever, and there's a whole bunch of people, like, relentlessly shitting on Christians and, like, religion and making all of it sound horrible and bad or whatever, like, and I, I'm probably going to push back against that. Why do I keep running into these things? But if I, um, but if I go to, like, a convention full of, like, crazy hardcore Christians who are saying that, like, atheists are these amoral loser bastards or whatever, I'm probably going to push back against that. But I feel like somebody could see me do that and be like, oh, you're just a contrarian. You're just taking up the contrarian position. I mean, it's like, well, I mean, uh, no. <laughs> my, my actual position is the same regardless of where I'm at. But I mean, like, what I'm going to talk about or what I'm going to push back on obviously varies a great deal based on, you know, who I'm interacting with. I don't think that's that unreasonable, but... But online, you decide what you interact with, no? If you only speak of Hamas, you choose that, no. Well, I mean, like, it depends... What do you mean, I only choose... I mean, like, typically you respond to what's gonna be, like, the hot topics or what's being discussed at your circle. I mean, like, I'm typically not gonna go dig through, like, really obscure conversations, like, oh, well, today we're gonna talk about flat earthers, because they've got, like, a formula, right? So usually it's gonna be, like, what is the most popular thing being talked about. I feel about. like I've outpaced him, intellectually. I think it could focus more on the right wingers. I'm not sure what that would look like though. Well, the problem is that like, um, um, the problem is twofold. One is that those conservatives, all of the smaller conservatives like don't exist on the internet anymore. So there's just the big ones. And then two, those big ones are never going to associate with you. You're never gonna have like a conversation or a debate or anything with like, because Crowder and Shapiro and these people know like they're, they're, they have nothing to gain from conversations, right? So they won't do it. So you're just kind of like, yeah. You know. This is the same argument that we use when we're talking about like the plight of the black American, right? The argument that we use is you need to recognize the source of the problems to address the problems, right? So are black people inherently violent? Do they have warrior genes? Is that why they commit crime? Or are these problems yeah, rooted in- Ask John Tron. So, he well, seems or, to have some very strong But opinions. that's not our argument, right? Our argument is that no, societal issues play a role into dictating these people, you know, in, in, into dictating the life circumstances of these people, right? We can't use that argument there and then drop it when it's inconvenient when talking about the rise of white nationalism, right? Remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.